Hello and welcome back for another session of meditation and breathwork. So nice to be joining you again. Over the last couple of sessions, you have spent a little bit more time in the extended breathing cycles, particularly the vagus nerve breathing cycle. This is a cycle that does take a lot of practice to get used to. Initially for many people, the effect of the vagus nerve breathing cycle may take up to five minutes to kick in. And that is why during your initial practices, you slowly build up the amount of time that you spend in the practice, allowing you to become more comfortable with the physical sensations that may wash over you and building that internal muscle memory that will allow you to guide yourself into that breathing cycle with or without somebody actually guiding you from an audio perspective. Eventually, in order for these breathing cycles to become truly sustainable, you'll be able to actually do these without having anyone guide you through them. But it does take time to get there, so be patient and compassionate with yourself as you build these skills. Soon you'll be able to have these kick in with under 60 seconds, which is pretty amazing fantastic sustainable way to get pain and emotional relief at any point during the day or night but in today's session I'm going to be extending further again into our breathing cycles and also bringing in some more wellness skills to the meditation practice everything we do in life is ultimately brain training and we have the ability to rewire our brain at any point under any circumstances so some of what I'll be doing with you over the next couple of sessions is going to be based on neuroplasticity, allowing you to rewire the brain a little bit to help you to feel more positive overall and allow you to control which neurotransmitters are actually being released from the body. And all you really need to do is kick back, relax and breathe, which is awesome. So when you're ready, I'd like you to get into a nice comfortable position being guided by your body as to what's going to work for you today. Once you've got yourself into a spot that feels right for you, I'd like you to begin by softening the gaze of the eyes, just gently letting anything in front of you go out of focus. Beginning to inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Beginning with an inhale through the nose and an exhale through the mouth. As you continue to breathe in this cycle, I'd like you to pay attention to how your physical form feels today. Noticing any resistance in the body as you breathe. or perhaps feeling the ease at which the breath moves through you. Remembering that there is no right or wrong, simply acknowledging how you actually feel objectively and without judgment. Mm -hmm. 
give yourself some space and time now to make any manual adjustments to the body as you continue to breathe. If you feel the urge to relax the shoulders or the jaw, perhaps the brow or the stomach, even wiggling in place just for a moment as the muscles may be talking to you, just give yourself the chance to be aligned with the body, to do as it asks. now that you've adjusted the body, I'd like you to bring the focus simply back to the breathing. Now counting the breath, inhaling through the nose for a count of four and exhaling through the mouth for a count of four. Today, as you continue to breathe, you will be using a gratitude practice. One that focuses on the entirety of your physical form. As you have done before, I'd like you to begin by visualizing yourself from a bird's eye view starting at the very top of the head all the way down to the tips of the toes. As you scan down through the body today, starting at the head, I'm still focusing on the pattern of your breathing, evenly inhaling for four, and exhaling for four. I'd like you to give thanks, to pay gratitude to each part of your body for one full breath, all the way through to the tips of your toes. Your gratitude practice for your physical form as you scan is open to your own interpretation. It can be as simple as saying thank you to each body part or you can pick something that it does that you are grateful for, saying that to yourself. For example, thank you eyes for allowing me to see the world. Whatever feels right for you is the right gratitude practice. If you feel yourself being pulled away by thought or distraction, bring yourself back to the last part of the body that you remember focusing on. Resume your breathing and continue your scan from there.
as you come to the end of your body scan and your gratitude practice today. I'd like you to let go of any focus on the breathing and the physical form of any visualization and instead allow your brain to do exactly what it wants to do for a few moments. And now bringing yourself back to the breath, tracking the breath this time. As you inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs and the diaphragm and exhaling through the mouth, feeling everything empty out as you do so. As you continue to track the breath with each cycle of breathing, I encourage you to stay with these practices, even if at times they feel unnatural or unusual. It is not often in life that you spend the time in true stillness, allowing yourself to get to know who you are, what your body does, what it does and doesn't like or respond to. All of the knowledge that you find through these processes is useful, important, and can be used to make your life better. So even the practices that may feel uncomfortable are important to move through. There is nothing bad in a meditation or breathwork practice. Only good, only knowledge, only understanding, only self-love and self-care. I'd like you to take a moment now as we come towards the end of your meditation and breathwork practice today to acknowledge how profound and special it is to be born into a human body and human mind. We have the capability to change 
adapt and grow. The ability to feel, to love, to grieve. How special it is to be born in such a connected, powerful and beautiful form. Allow every breath to remind you of the beauty that is always within. Now giving yourself permission to allow the outside world to become more present with you in this moment and in this space. Wiggle the fingers and the toes, becoming aware of sound, movement, the temperature of the room, the feeling of your body pressed against the surface. When you are ready, you may blink your eyes open and adjust to the light. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for this session of meditation and breathwork today. As you continue to expand these practices and learn new techniques for the brain and body, remembering that some of them are going to click with you immediately and others will require more practice and time. Allow yourself to treat yourself with kindness and compassion and patience as you work through each of these steps. Note down the things that resonate with you, any discoveries that you may be learning along the way. I hope that as you move through these practices, you begin to see how important and special it is that you are born as a human being and the power that you actually have by connecting back to yourself again, making space to do that. You will be better mentally, emotionally and physically by doing so, even down to the very cells that make up your body. So it is absolutely worth working through these practices. Thank you so much for choosing to join me today. Enjoy your state of Zen and I will see you for more meditation and breathwork in the next session.